Well, uh, let's uh, continue doing problems on implicit functions. I can say that these are a couple of very typical problems and implicit functions or the method what we use here is a very powerful tool to differentiate functions like this. All right, they look very scary in fact, right? Uh, we don't have any rules of differentiating them that it's also till infinity. I mean, when will you finish it? All right, but still, there's a nice way of uh, differentiating this. Look at the board. It says, uh, if at all I have root of sine x and plus root of sine x and root of sine x, it goes like that, right? Till infinity. It means so, so many functions, it never end. Now, if I just hide this guy, and don't you think though this whole thing looks like my original function? Exactly yes. If I just hide this guy, this in fact, this whole thing till infinity looks like my function y. So can I substitute this whole thing as y? Because this and this are looking same. And the value of this is actually y on the left hand side. So I can write this whole thing as y. And my question would become y is equal to sine root sine x. I'm neglecting this guy plus instead of this, I'll write y. That's it, nothing much. Now, I have a limit to my uh, question, in fact. It is not going till infinity, right? The next problem I would have here is the square root. Can I remove this guy somehow? Square both sides, I'll get y square is equal to a root uh, sine x plus y and square this guy. So I'll get uh, y squared is equal to sine, sine x plus y. Can I differentiate this guy? That makes it very easy for me. That is 2y in a dy by dx is equal to cos x plus dy by dx. And now I can see that I can take this guy on the left hand side. That is 2y dy by dx minus dy by dx is equal to cos x. And can okay, I just put this guy down? Yeah, dy by dx is common out. Yep. And I can write 2y minus 1 is equal to cos x. Now what happens now? I can just put this guy hold down. That is dy by dx would look like cos x, the whole thing divided by 2y minus 1. That's my answer. Now, what about the next problem? Let's see. Can you guess what happens here? Uh, y is glue x to the power, x to the power, x to the power, x like that, like that, till infinity. I can see that. All right, I can see that if at all I hide this x. It, it's again looking like x to the power, x to the power, x till infinity. And if I include this, one more x, that's it. So can I write this whole thing? is also looking like my original question so it goes like y is equal to x to the power y why am i writing y here because y is nothing but x power x power x till infinity that's it i'm just removing one x from here it looks almost the same and now now what to do now we can actually apply log on both sides for what reason i can see a function on the power of another function so I, what should i do get him down so log of y is equal to log of x to the power y now that looks like log y is glue y log x so now this guy looks like u into v function so let's uh, work it out here i can take this as one by y and a dy by dx that's how I differentiate that this looks like y in a d by dx of log x plus log x in a d by dx of y okay so what happens here so i can write one by y dy by dx is equal to y into 1 by x differentiation log is 1 by x plus log x into dy by dx now i need dy by dx on one side so let's take it on the left hand side so i have 1 by y in a dy by dx minus log x in a dy by dx okay is equal to y by x is what i have now can i put this guy down take common out dy by dx i'll get 1 by y minus log x is equal to y by x. Now what can I do with this guy? Put it down there. So dy by dx is very simply this. That is y by x and this whole thing comes down here. That is 1 by y and a log x. Take the LCM. This y would just go up like that. To y by, if I take the LCM here, anyway what happens? 1 minus log x into y, the whole thing divided by y. So what happens is this y? I'll just go up with this guy. I'll get uh, y squared divided by x into log x minus okay i can write one x into one minus log x into y okay that's my answer very simple so let's do by dx simple problems let's go with the next one uh let's say uh the third guy here how would i differentiate this let me erase this for you 
keep this in mind this is a very powerful tool and these problems are pretty uh, much times asked in the exams so keep that in mind so y is equal to sine x to the power sine x to the power sine x so it keeps on going till infinity i can just see that this whole thing can be now written as y as we did in the previous two problems because like y is equal to sine x to the power y and that's it so what to do with this guy get it down so we take log y it's log sine x to the whole power y and y would be just written behind here using the law of logs that is y log of sine x now can i differentiate this there's one by y and a dy by dx i do it i do it more directly now because we guys know what differentiation is all right so this guy is like y in a differentiation this one by sine x in a cos x all right that's how i differentiate log sine x plus log sine x in a differentiation of y is dy by dx and that's it now what's the next step just keep uh, dy by dx on one side and uh, put everything else on the right hand side so what happens so i can take this guy here i can take this guy on the left hand side that is one by y in a dy by dx minus log sine x in a dy by dx is equal to y in a, i can write cos by sine as cot so y cot x now can i take dy by dx common out yes i'll get one y minus log sine x is equal to y cot x and what can i do can i put this whole thing down let me take the LCM here before I do that. So dy by dx, I can write this as y and 1 minus y log sine x, okay, into y cot x. So now what can I do? If I can just cross multiply, put y out there and put this whole thing down. So that goes like dy by dx is equal to y squared into cot x. I'm just multiplying this y here and this whole thing down. That is 1 minus y log sine x and that's it okay that's how simple implicit functions are and these are very important problems most of the times asked in the exams basically or, or with this particular topic right now let's see uh, how to uh, do uh, differentiation of parametric functions in this uh, video